All right, check, check. I think I've got everybody here. Wow. We've got Mate Chezak here. Actually, if you guys are only just tuning in right now, this is Night of the Jumps. This is the Freestyle of Nations. We've got Team Germany versus Czech Republic and Spain. So if everybody else there, you can catch up. And the reason I've got Mate Chezak standing here, not in his gear, is because he just had a huge crash. And somehow you have walked away. Tell everybody what just happened. Yeah, uh, first of all, I want to say thanks, Airbags, because uh, it was like pretty, pretty big one. Yeah, I, I uh, was feeling good on the whip session. I thought I can throw like big waves. And in the in the air of, the, of one jump, like in the middle of the air, the engine like explode. And I was like, like, what the fuck is happening? You know, I didn't know what's going on. So I just throw the bike because it, I cannot move it, the bike, nothing, because it was like switched. So I just throw the bike and trying to like run uh, to the to the side and not be hit by the guys behind me. And yeah, it was pretty scary. I was shaking after, but I'm all good. So that's the main thing, I think. Man, that was gnarly. So what did it feel like? Like when that, when it just popped, I'm guessing the back wheel just locked up immediately and it was like throwing a rock through the air or something. Yeah, exactly. It was like a rock. It went like front wheel, like nothing. I couldn't do nothing with it. Uh, I was surprised, like, I, I was like, yeah, what, what should I do? And I, I thought that the best thing will be to throw it, like, out to the, the, to the side and just land it on the airbag because thanks God for these airbags because I would be, I think, destroyed. Yeah, that would have been quite a sore night, I think, at the end of all of that. Um, I do have a photo on my phone. I might show you guys a little bit later on. Actually, I just put it up. It's on the Night of the Jumps Instagram, maybe on the Facebook account right now. So... If you're still watching this, if you're still tuned in, jump onto Instagram, jump onto Facebook right now, and you'll see a little photo of uh, the top of that cylinder. So tell me, you're on the KTM, but that was the 300, right? Is that just too much power? Yeah, I think it's too much power because like, I like power. It's super good to have like 300 inside because the power is good also for the smaller arenas and everything. The power is just there when you put the gas. But, uh, as it seems, it's not good for the engines, so, because I think the engine cannot handle this power. So, now I'm thinking what to do in, the, in this year, like if I switch, maybe I will try four stroke, maybe I try two stroke, yeah, I, I really don't know now, because like, I like the power, so maybe the four stroke will be the best option, but I don't want to say it like 100%, I need to try first, and then I will see what to do. Yeah, I mean, we were just out the back, everybody came over, everybody's taking photos of his bike. And um, Peter Pillard, also from the Czech Republic, he's been riding with a KTM 300 for a fair few years, I think. And um, Pillard was saying, yeah, I've had this two times. Uh, and he, was, he said, it was, was it a cord over flip? Yeah, it was in the middle of flip, like cord over flip. So it was even worse. It was mobile landing. And yeah, we, I, I think he was like super lucky that it was in the air and not in the ramp. Like he, it saves him. All right. I think we're about to get told to shut up and let the show get on the road. Thank you so much for joining us, Mate. We're out of here. Enjoy the show.